So I'm Jorge Prado Garcia, I'm uh, 22 years old and I'm from Spain. After winning my last MXGP title, I decided to come over to US and try and uh, race here Supercross. MXGP is totally different than riding Supercross. Not only the bike's different, but the tracks, the atmosphere, the way of racing, it's just a different format. In Europe, we don't have Supercross racing. So the riders that ride MXGP has only raced motocross in all their life. So it's hard to make that switch, right? We'll see how, how things go on track. Um, I'm a bit nervous. I just want to get on my bike and spin some laps uh, around the track. Okay. So I will be racing the first three races. After that, I need to go back to Europe and try to get again the uh, number one on my bike, right? Um, well, actually, it's not right because I, need, I, can't, I don't need to get back because my bike has already number one, so I just need to keep it. So wait, I start again. <laughs> he is truly a prodigy, always has been. Uh, you look at his, he's really never done anything but win. Speaking about Jorge, you can never say one word without a motorcycle. So when he was a uh, one year old and one and a half, I think, he used to go down and uh, on the bike with one leg. I was, it was scary. I said, but do something. In uh, our place in Spain, it's a small city and not many people ride motorcycles. So we start riding together, Saturday, Sunday, and just having fun together. When I was very, very little, I've been always, I was always watching uh, the AMA Supercross racing, Rick Carmichael, James Stewart. And my dream actually was to race here in, in the USA as soon as possible. I would see him watching and re-watching all the time Supercross races, I think to the point. He knew them by heart at some point, right? And he's always been like a really like cool brother, like the funny type. He's just always trying to make jokes and try to make people smile. He's always happy, honestly. <laughs> In 2011, I won uh, the World Championship Juniors. Then I, I got a contract with Red Bull KDM Factory Racing Team. We all decided that the best thing was to move from Spain, where I didn't have tracks or possibilities to grow as a rider. So uh, we had to move to Belgium, which is, let's say, the base from motocross in, in the world. We have a meeting, we talk all together, also with Cecilia, and we were agreed to go all, the whole family to Belgium. We went to a new country with a very different language and uh, we tried to survive. I think that's something that you do with pleasure, right? Like, if you can help your brother, I mean, I would do anything for my brother. Jorge Prado up top with a 103.568. I needed someone to go with me to the races, to training. I think the best person for that is your own dad that wants the best for you. And I always feel way more like safe if my father is with me, even at training. I think he never missed a training, so, and that makes me feel more comfortable and relaxed. He's the youngest Red Bull athlete ever, with 10 years old. So with 11, uh, he was also factory rider. All parents, they were looking, and all kids, they were looking. He was the guy you need to beat. So you need to also survive for your life with that pressure. After a few years, six years living in Belgium and studying in Belgium as well, I moved to Italy as I changed uh, team. I won the title in 2018. I won again in 2019. And then in 2023, finally I could make my dream come true in, in getting the title in the MXGP class. You only live once, so yeah, I think you gotta try to do as many things as possible. I feel like I accomplished everything I could accomplish back in Europe, so probably the next step should be come over and race here. Doing MXGP it's more of a job at this point, right? You have People have expectations of him, but this is something he's really just doing for fun. And that's why we came here, just to know if he's still a dream or, or not. And if he is uh, really enjoy, maybe we try in the future. He showed great speed in practice qualifying. He is slick, he is fast, and this is a lifetime dream of his. That's why I'm here, right? Not really for the results, but to get the experience of what is uh, racing Supercross. So you're not worried about the results? 
Obviously, I want to do my best and uh, once I'm on the gate, I want to win. But we also need to be realistic. I will be happy if I can enjoy my riding and I, if I can feel when I'm on track, I can give my 100%, right? It's a thrill for Prado just to be there in around these guys. And instead of being on the other side of the world just watching, he's now here racing for the first three rounds. Just to go to the main event, if it's possible, also, it's a dream. Because he's so young, he's been already so many years in AmexGP, I think this would be a change, like, again, something that he wanted to do for such a long time. The main plan was just to come over and do some laps. And look at me, I'm here sitting and talking about racing Supergirls, so you never know what the future holds, but uh, that's the main plan at the moment. Well, then let's just go ahead and talk about 2025. <laughs> what's happening in 2025? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen in 25. We will see. <laughs> Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.